Hey, greetings to Texas. Okay, we're gonna make some homemade bacon. Here I have a slab of pork belly. This is uh, 5.29 pounds. And I'm just gonna make a simple bacon. I have uh, another video where I use sage, um, brown sugar, salt, and curing salt, or um, pink salt, sodium nitrate. But we're just gonna do a simple recipe here. Um, we're gonna use tender quick. Now this is a home meat cure. It has the pink salt or sodium nitrate already in it. And you're gonna use one tablespoon per pound of meat. You're gonna rub it into it. And so we have 5.29 or five and a quarter pounds. So we're gonna use five and a quarter tablespoons of tender quick. And then um, we're gonna use some brown sugar. We're gonna use um, about a half a cup of brown sugar and about a tablespoon of black pepper. So let's get our pork belly out and see if we need to trim it off. Um, this one looks pretty clean. Um, last one I did, it was a whole pork belly. And um, so I had to trim off all the silver skin, but this looks like it's already processed. So let's get it out of the package. Okay, this is already uh, cleaned up. All the silver skin is off. Now when you buy a whole pork belly, you're not gonna be that lucky. And um, this is just, just thawed. So let's go ahead and mix our uh, cure. All right, so we have our brown sugar. Let's go ahead and Add a little bit over half a cup. And then we're gonna get our tender quick. We're gonna use five and a quarter tablespoons. Okay, you wanna be careful if you're using uh, pink salt or sodium nitrate. It, it takes very little. Five and a quarter. And we're going to add a tablespoon of black pepper. Okay, there we go. We're going to mix this all up. <laughs> Um, after we coat this up, coat all the surface, it's going to go in a refrigerator in this for a week. It smells good. And um, it's going to shrink. So um, usually it takes seven, eight days. What you're doing is you're going to end up leaching out about 30% of the water. So you could weigh it before and after. But I usually find uh, seven, eight days um, after you make it a few times. I mean, it's so simple to make your own bacon. Um, you'll be able to know um, when the water gets out, it's going to get firm, really firm. So let's go ahead and coat this with our cure. And again, it's not going to matter what side you put down first or last because you're going to be flipping it every day. I don't like to, you know, press it down really well into that meat.
Now you don't have to use sodium nitrate, but it is antimicrobial. I mean, salt and sugar are antimicrobial, antibacterial, but it's gonna give it a redder color and it's gonna give that extra ounce of uh, protection from um, any kind of bad bacteria developing. Okay, we're gonna cover it up and you can vacuum seal it. You can do, you just use a Ziploc bag. This is gonna go in the refrigerator and every day we're gonna flip, flip the meat over. I like this container because I can just flip the container over and it doesn't leak. Okay, so um, this is the end of part one. This is so easy to do, you can make it yourself. Um, you can control the flavor, and um, again, you can make it without the sodium nitrate. I've done it either way, but I just like how it turns out better um, in the long run. All right, this is the end of part one. Part two um, will be posted, and we'll film that in about a week from now. Okay, I appreciate you stopping by, and thanks for watching.